Welcome again to another Curator's Chat here at Behringer Crawford Museum. My name is Jason French, Curator of Collections here. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of a behind the scenes. Uh, I'm putting together a case for a new acquisitions exhibit that we're currently uh, putting, we're going to open it today. Um, and it's just a, it'll be a brief exhibit, but we wanted to kind of highlight some of the the new and very interesting things that we've brought into the museum over the last six months or maybe a year. This is a collection that we've talked about once before. Uh, this is a, a collection related to Harlan Hubbard, the local artist that came from Mia Cunningham. Um, and I thought that I would show you items that was part of her research, her archive, as she was writing books on both Anna Harlan's wife and she was uh, attempting to write a book on Harlan in his early years before she passed. So Mia is actually in this photograph. This is at Payne Hollow around 1954 and this is Mia Cunningham of course before she was a Cunningham. Um, below her is Harlan as most people remember and think of Harlan uh, he's, he's cleaning a fish, his John boat is behind him, he'd been out fishing, uh, presumably that's going to be dinner. But also in this collection are wonderful things like this upper corner photograph from the old family photo album is also Harlan as a little boy. And I love this, this image, if you can see it, he's in a, a two-wheeled cart being pulled by a dog. Uh, and it's just a great image, maybe 1905 or 6 or somewhere in that age range. Uh, there's also wonderful things that we don't think about Harlan, and, and I can't say for certain if these sketchbooks are actually Harlan's sketchbooks or if they were maybe his father's or some other member of his family. Uh, he came from a pretty artistic family. Um, so I brought these out because if they are Harlan, the, often throughout these books we see images that we generally do not see in his paintings. We see people, we see automobiles and, and other uh, items, and they're a little mystery. Uh, but as is this entire collection for us is going to uh, bring a lot of interest and a lot of knowledge uh, within the subject of Harlan Hubbard and his life. Uh, and it's, it's treasures that we are excited to have and to get to kind of dig into. Behind the sketchbooks are diaries from Rose Hubbard, who we believe is Harlan's mother. Uh, and here is just a collection of yearly diaries, um, roughly right now from 1910 or so to 1925. But we have more, the one here sitting next to, uh, well, the one in my hand is 1935. So within these, it's really telling us the daily life of a family. We're learning about maybe Harlan and his, his habits, the things that he was doing, um, because she is talking about, you know, maybe on a Saturday, Harlan stayed in his studio at Fort Thomas all day and painted, uh, or Harlan, uh, took a trip into Cincinnati, into the city. So, uh, or even he was taking violin lessons. It's, it's really fun, and within these uh, diaries, there's so much that we're going to help us understand the man that we have a tremendous collection of his art from, and it's exciting for us. And it was exciting for me to pull this out, and I wanted to share a little bit about um, this new collection and we welcome you to come and see the other new acquisitions in our uh, exhibit space. Uh, they'll be up uh, for maybe a month and a half, uh, two months, um, before we uh, move on to another exhibit. Thank you again for uh, viewing the Curator's Chat and come and visit us. Have a good day.